Match, Seinfeld, The Office, and many, many more. On a somewhat related note, I have not seen sunlight in three days. But ultimately, I chose one that was nearest to my heart. As J.D. off Scrubs once said, and yes, I'm going off on a Scrubs reference. As J.D. leaves Sacred Heart Hospital in the Scrubs series now, he says to himself, endings are always hard. I built them up so much in my head that they can't possibly live up to my expectations, and I just end up disappointed. I'm not even sure why it matters so much how my time here comes to an end. I think it's because we all like to believe that what we do is very important. That people hang on to our every word. That they care what we think. The truth is that you should consider yourself lucky if you even occasionally get to make someone, anyone, feel even a little better. After that, it's all about the people you lend to your life. As I think of those moments of friendships with the people I've led into my life over these past four years, I think just how lucky I am to have known people that have more than occasionally made me feel better. Whether that's the numerous number of teachers that are sitting here that have proven, proven invaluable in counsel in the eight throughout the years. So I think we need to give the teachers here a flash of applause too. Whether that's, whether that's amazing friends and sometimes fellow pranksters, then it's been a complete honor just to know. And whether it's a principal whose dedication to the safety and security and success of our students knows no end. But I, I do think, and I want someone to check this, I believe her voice may fall into the definition of a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> yeah. When I look back at my life, hopefully decades from now, I may not necessarily say that these would be four greatest years of my life, but they certainly were four great years, and I'm proud of that. I'm thankful to the opportunities, to the friendships, and to the lessons I'll leave this school with. And I'm proud to always call Clover Hill home I'm proud to have graduated alongside each and every one of you. A great philosopher, Creed Bratton, once said, no matter where you end up or how you get there, human beings have this miraculous gift to be able to call that place home. And so too have all the parents, have, have, have all my, my parents, the teachers and the students here, been able to make me call this place home. Thank you, God bless you, and congratulations to the class of 2013.